Hello, my reading friends. Welcome to Reading Robin. If you like reading stories with me, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Today, we're reading a story called Be Kind. What does kindness mean to you? Why do you think it's important to be kind? As you listen, think about how we can show kindness to others. Let's begin. Be Kind by Pat Zietlow Miller, illustrated by Jin Hill. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday, all over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too, but mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping. Putting dirty dishes in the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner, listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying, thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Carla, what's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. Being kind can be hard too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big, something really big, so big that all our kindness spill out of our school, spread throughout town, travel across the country, and go all the way around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me, so we can be kind again, and again, and again. The end. Do you believe kindness can change the world? Let's go out and show kindness to others today, making the world a better place, one kind act at a time. See you next time.